Hey, bud. I've, uh, I've got to do this. Yeah. Welcome to another episode of the How To Tony channel, where I show you how to make things. Hey guys, before we get started, I did want to give you a quick update. But yes, I am sitting in our concrete bucket stool. And if you want to see how I made this, you can check out last week's episode. All right guys, today is a special episode because we will be making one of these. If you don't know what this is, this is called a fleur de lis. It is French, translated literally to flower of lily or lily flower. If you guys have ever been to New Orleans, or even Googled a picture of New Orleans, the fleur-de-lis has definitely made an appearance. It has been used as a decorative design on anything from fences, coasters, candlesticks, the New Orleans Saints logo, and even New Orleans trash cans. Now this all stems back from New Orleans' huge French influence, where Catholic saints of France were once depicted with the fleur-de-lis on their staffs or on their cloaks. But even though I currently live in New Orleans, and the fleur-de-lis is its symbol, that's not what makes this episode special. So my neighbor has been extremely helpful. Anytime we've left town, he's always helped look over the house, and he's always dealt with the noise that I constantly make here in the garage or workshop. And recently, he's been replacing the flooring in his house, and he's been throwing those old boards away in his trash can on collection days. Now I have secretly been rummaging through his trash can and collecting these boards. And I thought we could do him something special by surprising him with New Orleans' iconic symbol made out of his old floorboards as a little memory for him and as a token of my appreciation for his kindness. So, let's get to work and let me show you how I made this. To start, since we're using old floorboards, we're going to have to take out any metal or nails that are inside the wood. Otherwise, those will get caught in the saws that we're going to use later on. There's nothing fancy about this process, I'm just using a hammer and knocking the nails out and then using pliers to pull them out the other end. Now that the nails are removed, we're going to cut these boards down to manageable pieces and we're also going to rip down the sides of them to remove the tongue and groove from the floorboards. I'm cutting off the tongue and groove because I want a nice flush fit on each one of these boards when we glue them together. All right, so the boards are cut. I'm gonna run some glue down the sides and then squeeze the boards together with the wood clamps. I'll let them sit overnight for the glue to dry. Now that the glue is dry, we have a solid platform. I found this floor to leave pattern on Google. So let's trace it out on our board. When I start cutting, I like to get a basic shape first, then cut out the details after. Here I'm making relief cuts so we can cut the details out easier. I actually just picked up this bandsaw, so if anyone has any good tips for it, please let me know. Working some of these small parts gets real tricky, so make sure to take your time. And this is where we're at after cutting. Here I'm planing down our shape to flatten the boards. I probably should have done this before cutting out our pattern, but luckily we got away with it.
Now I'm making marks so I have some points to reference while I start shaping our fleur-de-lis. Here's an image to show you what my marks are. I start shaping our fleur-de-lis by rounding out our rough shape with a Dremel. Then I begin thinning out some areas to give the flower some depth and minimize the flat board look. You'll go through quite a few of these little sanding discs. After a while, this is the look we have. You can see the shape we're after, but it's a little rough, so we're gonna have to smooth it out. I begin smoothing with a little wood file on the hard reach areas. Then I follow that with sandpaper. I worked on one side first to give you guys a contrast, as you can see right here. This part of the process will take a while. But after all the hard work, we have a pretty fleur-de-lis. After blowing off the dust, I wanted to stain the wood to give it a contrast if we hung it on a light-colored wall. I went with this gunstock color. We will let this dry for eight hours. Now I'm going to give it a semi-gloss polyurethane for protection and a little bit of a shine. I'm gonna let this sit overnight. Alright guys, so that's how I made our Fleur de Lis. And if you like this project and want to see more of my projects in the future, please subscribe below. But before you leave, there's still one thing we have to do. We still got to give this to our neighbor. Out of respect for my neighbor's privacy, I decided not to capture him on film. But out of something that was going to be thrown away, I was so happy to bring a smile and joy to him. Hopefully this project inspires you to do something nice for someone else in your neighborhood.